Public backlash to Kung Thai Bank's plan to introduce fees for cardless ATM withdrawals requires a deep dive. The Thai banking industry's push to discourage the use of cash led some to believe that it was a good idea to charge fees for cash transactions and suspend cardless money withdrawals at ATMs. The Bank of Thailand and local banks have been promoting digital payments in their efforts to shift towards a cashless society. With digital banking adoption posting growth, but Kung Thai Bank has emerged as the first bank to announce fees for cardless ATM withdrawals, leading to a public backlash. The announcement sparked a wave of public complaints, particularly on social media platforms, where users criticized the 10 baht fee as too high, especially for students or low-income earners who frequently need to withdraw small amounts of money. Some comments accuse Kung Thai Bank of prioritizing profits over the shift towards a cashless society. Following the overwhelming negative feedback, Kung Thai Bank cancelled the plan that the following day, stating it would indefinitely postpone the fee and await further guidance from the Thai Central Bank. As a consequence, the Central Bank and commercial lenders are reconsidering their approach in terms of public nudge and incentives to discourage using cash. Other major banks also intended to introduce fees for cardless ATM withdrawals, similar to Kung Thai's plan. However, the blowback from Kung Thai's announcement led these banks to freeze their fee plans. The local Thai industry is strongly focused on digital payments and moving towards a cashless society in the long run. The pandemic has a major impact on consumers' financial behavior, leading to a significant rise in digital banking adoption. Why is there an effort to discourage the use of cash? The rationale is there is a high cost associated with managing cash, particularly expenses related to transporting cash from cash centers to bank branches and ATMs across the country. This transport process also incurs expenses related to human resources and security systems. In many countries, banks charge deposit fees to cover the cost of managing deposit services. However, Thai consumers have enjoyed free cash transactions for a long time. Thai banks need to better communicate to the public that this is a gradual transition towards a cashless society. Thailand's high rate of digital banking adoption is an advantage that can facilitate the country's transition towards a cashless society and digital economy. Digital payments are a key element to support the country's digital economy, helping to reduce operating costs and increase efficiency which strengthen the country's overall competitiveness. Bangkok Post encourages you to go to the link in the description of this video for the full story. Thank you, and see you again next time. Swadikrap!